China reaffirmed its unwavering commitment to respect Cambodia's sovereignty during a recent visit by a Chinese official to the Southeast Asian country. Chat mong konti sa Maigusong reports. A visiting Chinese official expressed the full support of Chinese President Xi Jinping for the new royal government of Cambodia led by the Cambodian People's Party or CPP. Liu Jianxiao, director of the International Liaison Department of the Communist Party of China, or CPC, paid a courtesy call to Sam Desh Hun Sen, president of the Cambodian People's Party and the country's former prime minister. The Chinese official also paid a courtesy visit to Hun Manet, the newly appointed prime minister of Cambodia and president of the CPP's youth wing. The discussions focus on several mutually beneficial bilateral issues including the post-election situation in Cambodia, the celebration of the 65th anniversary of the establishment of Cambodia-China diplomatic relations and the Cambodia-China Friendship Year. The two parties expressed satisfaction over the strong and dynamic momentum of the strategic partnership in all aspects of cooperation between both countries for prosperity, peace, and development in all fields. They are committed to enhancing relations at all levels. Both parties have pledged to continue communication, visit exchanges and mutual support in regional and international forums. The ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, also elevated the bilateral ties between Cambodia and China to greater heights. Rangangang Rashabri, National Mankom Bismai Goson, Asamini Sputetai, Sodekhap. After attending the two-day back-to-back sessions of the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance International Conference held in Bangkok, Thailand, key officials of the Jose Maria College Foundation Incorporated expressed their gratitude to school founder, Pastor Apollo Siki Buloy, for his continued support to them. And Anisa Guzman reports. JMCFI key officials were sent off for an out-of-the-country business trip as part of the Philippine delegation to attend the AUN Quality Assurance International Conference in Bangkok, Thailand. It was truly a productive and fruitful out-of-the-country experience for JMCFI key officials as they were sent off by the school as part of the Philippines delegation for the highly anticipated international event. School President Dr. Felix C. Chavez shared the next big step for JMCFI after gaining valuable insights from the conference. Within this year, we will be uh, subjecting our college for AUN assessment for the eight programs. And that particular AUN assessment uh, that is in a form of accreditation uh, is actually very important. The next step is to apply for university. That is a very, uh, this is a very important endeavor for Jose Maria College. And that is why we are very much thankful to our founding president, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy, for the support that he has given to us, especially that we are one of the highest delegates in this uh, AUN convention. AUN Executive Director Dr. Choltiz also welcomed JMCFI as one of the newest members of the ASEAN University Network. He further shared AUN's vow to assist member schools in attaining their goal of providing quality education. Welcome uh, all of you to join us in, in this quality movement. We will put forward this progress to your university and other universities who are under the AUNQA network. Moreover, the JMCFI delegation also shared the importance of attending this said prestigious event in line with the school's goal of becoming a university that is globally competitive. We are therefore preparing ourselves to really be uh, a seedbed for global education. The U AUN certification is uh, very important towards our uh, goal, the JMC's goal of becoming uh, a university. We in administration and finance must also cope up with the demands of institution as it support its mission to provide consistent and quality education. 
The academic head of the JMCFI College of Law also shared the relevance of AUNQA in maintaining academic excellence in the graduate program. JMCFI has um, consistently maintained uh, high bar examination performance and we would like to maintain this um, high performance by the standardization of our um, College of Law program in JMC. So it has been quite a uh, productive conference with so many insights gained that we could apply to the JMC College of Law. And uh, thank you so much, Pastor, for the privilege to participate in this conference and for your all-out support for the JMC delegation sent here in Thailand. As JMCFI continues to expand its international linkages, partnerships, and research opportunities, the said conference also paved the way for the school to expand its network and elevate its standards to international benchmark, together with various accredited higher educational institutions in the ASEAN region. Being an associate member of the EUNQA, it can facilitate partnership and collaboration among STEAM institutions in the ASEAN countries. It can facilitate um, exchange, student exchange program, faculty collaboration, and research partnership. So for us to become a university, so there is really a need to strengthen our research because it's the back door of becoming a university. We had this AUNQA uh, as a shortcut process for us to uh, fast track our application for university hood. Moreover, AUN also shared its plan to move forward and encourage member schools to apply for institutional level assessment as a relevant process for internal quality assurance. Uh, the AUNQA is moving. Uh, it is stepping up more. It's not only about uh, assessment at the program level, but we are stepping up to, to encourage uh, every university to join in the assessment at the institutional level. At this conference is to look out for the new institutional assessment that we think is really going to take off. We have done many program assessment over 1,300 wow. but the next step in climbing up higher on the ladder yeah. is to go for institutional assessment All right. okay the um, version number three has just been launched mm -hmm. to the board of trustees okay. of the ASEAN University Network in July yeah. so information is flowing down now mm -hmm. to all universities at this conference so that is the biggest thing in this year's AUNQA International Conference, JMCFI sent off the highest number of delegations, a proof that JMCFI is committed to maximizing opportunities in the pursuit of academic excellence. Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy's valuable support earned praise from key officials who represented the event in the capital city of Bangkok. Thank you so much, Pastor, for this very great honor and privilege to represent our very own institution, the Semer College Foundation Incorporated, and this can really help us in uh, fast-tracking everything to fast-track our, uh, our, our goal to become a university status in the future. Thank you so much, Pastor. We are forever grateful to our, our founding president, Pastor Apollo Sikiboloy, for being our constant guide in delivering the ACQ brand of education. For in JNC, your future is our mission. Thank you, Pastor. And uh, thank you so much, Pastor, for the privilege to participate in this conference and for your all-out support for the GMC delegation sent here in Thailand. To our founding president, to Reverend pa Dr. Pastor Kibaloy, thank you so much. I mean, you are, to me, I would like to describe you as a man for all season who walks your talk. We are very much thankful to our founding president, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy, for the support that he has given to us, especially that we are one of the highest delegates in this uh, AUN convention. 
Offering quality education is Hosemria College Foundation Incorporated's top priority and its participation in the international conference contributed significantly to providing innovative technologies and academic strategies for the school to achieve its goal in also pushing for an excellent, assured, consistent and quality or the ACQ brand of education. For God and my beloved Philippines, Anissa de Guzman, SMNI News.